Before we prove statements or properties about an integer n using math induction, pag-usapan naman natin ano yung mga prinsipyo sa likod ng mathematical induction. But before that, before we discuss all the steps na kailangan nating magawa, before we can prove a statement about an integer n, pag-usapan naman natin ano yung pagkakaiba ng deductive at saka inductive reasoning kasi mathematical, ma- mathematical induction. So let's differentiate deductive from inductive. Deductive versus inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning. Pag deductive reasoning, nagsisimula ka sa isang general statement na totoo. Tapos ginagamit mo yon para magkaroon ka ng conclusion about a specific uh, pwedeng object or case. For instance, Kung gusto mong gamitin deductive reasoning, you can um, have a general statement, for instance, uh, let's talk about a classic one. Um, all dogs have four legs. Four legs. That's a general statement. Totoo. And then, you go a little bit specific. For instance, you know a dog, the name of the dog, for instance, is A, 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 X, for instance, Ax. Ax is a dog. Is a dog. And then, uh, since he acts a dog, and then you have a statement that all dogs have four legs. So you will have a conclusion about ax that ax has four legs. Yeah. Ayan yung in the, uh, sorry, deductive reasoning. But how about inductive reasoning? For inductive reasoning, um, meron kang cases na laging nag occur So, parang magkakaroon ka ng data. You have data. Yung data mo, galing siya, pwedeng sa experiment or by experience. And then, you will use that data to have uh, parang conclusion about something. Ang laging classic example ko dito, uh, yeah, nagbibigyan ko ng story sa klase ko. Sinasabi ko lagi. For instance, um, si Mark. Si Mark ay isang sudyante. Sumakay siya sa, sa tricycle na color green. Pagpunta niya sa klase, may quiz sila sa math, pumasa siya. The following day, green ulit na nasakyan niya tricycle. And then, me exam ulit sila sa math. And then, pumasa ulit siya. The following day, ganun ulit. Green yun nasakyan niya tricycle. May exam, quiz, sur- sur- surprise quiz sa, sa mathematics. And then, pumasa ulit. And then, on Thursday, Green ulit yung nasa niya. And then, nagpa-surprise quiz ulit yung math teacher niya. So, ano yung ina-expect niya? Correct. Papasa siya. So, using the data gathered from experience, then you can have a conclusion about a specific one. So, for inductive reasoning, you will have to decide based on several cases na naging totoo to for case 1, naging totoo for case 2, naging totoo for case 3. So, you have, you have several cases for case 1, naging totoo siya, check kay case 1, and then for case 2, check ulit, for case 3, check ulit. Then, uh, then what can you say about case 4? Ano, ano na ngayon mangyari kay case 4? Kung check kay case 1, check kay case 2, check then kay case 3, then you can have a conclusion, ah, because of this experience and data, you can say that, ah, okay, check then kay case 4. Or, for instance, sa isang section, kumukuha ko niya rin ng uh, sudyante. And then, bumunot ka ng isang sudyante from a specific section sa klase. And then, the, yung nabunot mong sudyante, magaling sa math. And then, bumunot ka ulit. Tinest mo, magaling ulit sa math yung nakuha mo. And then, bumunot ka ulit ng isa pa. Magaling ulit sa math. Bumunot ka ulit, nakita mo, oh, magaling ulit sa math. And then, you will have a conclusion. Ah, lahat ng sudyante sa section na yun magaling sa math. So, that's inductive reasoning. So, it's the total opposite of deductive reasoning. Kasi si deductive reasoning, you have a general statement and then you have you will have a conclusion for a specific case. And then for inductive reasoning, meron kang result or may data ka from specific cases and then you will have and then you will have a conclusion para sa general or para sa mas malawak pa na na case. Okay. So, it's the difference between inductive and deductive reasoning. Now, 
ano ang kinalaman nito sa mathematical induction? Sa math induction kasi, pag-usapan natin, isang, isang classic example. Um, we want to prove that 1 plus 2, sorry, I'm going to use an, a different color. We want to prove, for instance, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n. And then, the sum of the first n positive integers is equivalent to n times n plus 1 over 2. So, this is a statement regarding n. How can you prove that this is true? Uh, well, pwede, kung, pwede ako mag-try. Kanang, for instance, I'll try for 1. Kung 1, I'll try for 1. And then 1, is it equivalent to 1 plus, so I'll try for n equals 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2. And this is equivalent to 1 plus 2, uh, sorry, 1 times 2 over 2. And then you cancel 2 and then the answer is 1. Now, it's true. Okay, check. Siya kay, kay n equals 1. And then let's try it for, let's try for n equals 2. For n equals 2, then you have 1 plus 2. This is equivalent to 3. Is it equal to, uh, what well, we used to, diba? We have 2 times 2 plus 1 over 2. And that is equivalent to 2 times 3 over 2. And the answer is 3. So, tama. 3 to, ito 3 then. Let's try for n equals 3. <clears throat> uh, we'll have 1 plus 2 plus 3. This is essentially 3 plus 2, 5, 6. So this is 6. Um, equal ba siya kay, um, what's this? 3. So, that's n. Our n is 3. 3 times 3 plus 1 over 2. And this will become 3 times 4 equals 2. And this is 3 times 4 is 12 over 2. And that is 6. Totoo siya. You try it for n equals 4. You try it for n equals 5. Try mo ulit sa n equals 6. How about n equals 7? Is it true for n equals 10? How about n equals 100? Totoo pa rin kaya siya? Now, um, sa, kailan ka titigil ng pagtetesting para ma-prove mo na tama to? Okay. Of course, you cannot try this for for all positive integers. We have in madami tayo. We have infin, infinite number of positive integers. Hindi mo pwedeng itry yan dyan. Okay? Nang uh, lahat. Hindi mo pwedeng itry lahat. No? Gamitin natin yung principle of of mathematical induction para ma-prove. Sabi dito, let P of n be a property or statement about an integer. Kasi for this series, ang pag-uusapan lang natin ay uh, summation property or uh, formula about summation. Summation. Mag-pag-uusapan din natin about uh, divisibility. Divisibility. And then, the third one, we will uh, prove uh, statements about inequality. Inequality. Yeah. So, let P of N be a property or statement about an integer N. Suppose that the following conditions can be proven. The first one, P of N sub 0 is true. That is, the statement is true when N equals N sub 0. N sub 0, basically, ay yung starting point. Kung ang pinag-uusapan lang natin ay set of positive integers at the N equals, N sub 0 equals, ah, sorry, ah, tama, positive integer, so N equals 1. So, n sub 0 equals 1. So, yun yung starting point natin. Kasi pwede tayong mag-start sa 0. Pwede rin mag-start sa 1. Okay? If P of K is true, so, papaltan mo lahat ng N mo ng K, we will assume that P of K is true. For some integer K greater than or equal to n sub 0. Then, P of K plus 1, so that's the next term, is true. That is, if the statement is true for n equals K, then it is also true for n equals k plus 1. Then the statement p of n is true for all integers n greater than or equal to n, n sub 0. Pag-usapan natin to. We have, we have a formula here. Ang sum down ng first n positive integers ay n times n plus 1. Sabi sa principle of math induction, we just have to show uh, two parts. The first one, part 1, part 1, is we need to show whether whether our formula is true for n equals 1. Um, is it true for n equals 1? Kung true din, good. Okay, tayo sa part 1. 
for part 2, assume, let's assume that the formula, the formula, that the formula, formula is true for k. Okay, assume na totoo siya kay k. So, ang mangyayari dyan, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus k equals k times k plus 1 over 2. So, kung i-assume natin na totoo siya for this, and then kaya natin ipakita, we want to show, we want to show that it is also true that it is also true for k plus 1. Yung gawin natin dito, imbes na k, k plus 1 na tayo. So, yung next. So, dapat pakita din natin na si 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus k plus k plus 1 ay equal na kay so, lahat ng k dito magiging k plus 1. k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 because I change k to k plus 1 over 2. Kung mapakita natin na ito ay equal dito using our assumption and then by the principle of math induction, totoo siya. Ngayon, ano lang gustong sabihin nito? Balik tayo dito. Hindi natin kayang i-prove lahat or hindi natin kayang i-substitute lahat ng positive integer dito sa formula na to para masabi natin na totoo to. Pero ang gustong sabihin ni math induction, kung totoo siya kay 1, it's first part. Parang bine-verify mo. Totoo ba siya kay 1? Kung totoo, di good. You're good with part 1. For part 2, i-assume natin na totoo siya sa kahit anong um, integer na k. k can be 100. k can be 101. k can be 102. So, um, i-assume na totoo siya kay k. So, 1, let that, I'll just put here numbers. 4, 5, and then I'll put 99, 100, 101, and so on. Ah, sorry, 101. 101, and so on. Yan. Kung totoo siya kay 1, di good. Good for part 1. And then, ang gusto sabihin ng math induction, let's assume totoo siya kay k. Si k kahit anong number. And then, we want to show na yung kasunod niya na k plus 1 ay totoo din. Okay? Parang, assume na din, at this level, at this level, k totoo siya. At least level, k totoo. And then, kailangan ma-prove natin yung kasunod totoo din. Para kahit saan tayo mag-start, kanyari, uh, totoo siya kay 1, kung na-prove mo siya na totoo siya kay k, yung kasunod automatic, totoo na din. Ay yung gustong sabi ng math induction. Kung totoo siya kay k, i-prove mo na totoo siya kay k plus 1. So, kung totoo siya kay k, then yung kasunod niya totoo din. Kung totoo siya kay 2, kay 1, and then automatic totoo na kay siya kay 2. If you start at 5, kung totoo siya kay 5, automatic yung 6 totoo din. E, kung totoo siya kay 100, automatic yung 101 totoo din. And you, 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 you will get the point na kahit saan ka mag-start, automatic yung kasunod totoo na din. If you start with 1,000, automatic yung 1,001 totoo din. So, parang kahit anong isipin mo, Totoo na siya. Okay? Kahit anong isipin mo na starting point o kahit ano, ano pa isipin mo na number, automatic yung kasunod. Totoo na din. And that is uh, how we prove um, statements using principle of math induction. Totoo siya at K. Let's show na totoo din siya kay K plus 1. Okay? And uh, for the next video, I'm going to show several examples using math induction.